Okay, just want to go over my match really quick. As you can see, it's a very short match. Still, I can't help but feel like by breaking it down, I'll glean some insight, and hopefully you will too. Um, obviously, it was not a winning strategy. So here, I felt really good, not nervous, hardly at all. I was like ready to go. I felt like I was going to beat this guy. I was like, cool, I'm going to come out, do my moves. Everything's going according to plan. There's the photographer getting one of the pictures of one of the four pictures of me. Slap hands. I drop into this super low stance just to see if see about getting underneath him, but I already had my plan. I j I start circling him, pulling on the lapel. He didn't like that, but he sat guard as soon as I was about to sit guard, or pull d uh, single leg half guard. I'm gonna pull single leg half guard, and he sat down. So now I'm like, okay, I gotta pass. As soon as he sits, I want to do this in slow motion. Video. Um, speed, video speed, playback. He sits to a butterfly guard, which in retrospect I wish I would have done. He sits butterfly guard, and then he tries to, what is he doing here? Let's look at this. He sits butterfly guard, he's grabbing my pants and the top collar, and putting his foot in my hip, setting up, grab, switching from the pants to the sleeve, and tying up my arm with his, my, sh my armpit with his other leg, and it looks like he's going to start spinning in an omoplata here, and as he's going for the omoplata, I do this step over. I'm not sure what he was going for. I thought I couldn't tell if it was a triangle or an armbar. <clears throat> Sometimes I do this step over. And uh, I need to grab a charger. And um, here I stop. I thought I'm going to pull my arm out. Like I always do. But it was an omoplata. Not a armbar triangle uh, thing. Um, so now I s drop back to my hip and I think, hmm, maybe I can pull my arm out here. But he starts bumping me which is really smart, and oh, look at this dynamic hip swivel right there, to swim back into a triangle position. Not bad at all. So I misread this match entirely. He pulls butterfly guard. Then he transitions to uh, this open guard trying uh, omoplata setup where he puts his foot on my hip, my foot on the shoulder, like a spider guard, but he's grabbing the collar and uh, same side sleeve. And then he throws in the, the omoplata here. He's going for the omoplata. And as he's going for the omoplata, he thinks he's going to omoplata me. I did this big step over thing. Because I thought it was going to be a triangle or an arm bar. That's what it felt like to me. Then he swings his hips in a dramatic fashion and swivels from here, where his head is underneath my leg, swim, swings his leg hard, whips it around into a triangle position, uh, and now in his mind all he's got to do is complete uh, passing my arm over for the triangle. Now I'm thinking triangle escape, triangle escape, so I step to the far side and I'm trying to bring my knee in to my elbow, touch my knee to my elbow. And what I should have done was reach across and post on the mat next to his head and touch my elbow on the other side. Not this knee, the other side. Other side knee. And he was doing a, a really good job of uh, keeping his hip on that far side so that I couldn't bring my knee to my uh, knee to my elbow. And I was posting on this wrong side. I needed to get the other hand across the other side of his neck um, for the escape I was trying to do. And you see I'm grabbing him here. And I'm grabbing his collar, and I'm, I, what I should have done was post my hand, my hand on the far side mat next to his head, but I'm grabbing his gi, kind of in, in a desperate panic. And uh, he see right there, he swivels his hips out to lock in the triangle, and that's what kept me from getting my knee, this knee that's getting swiveled out. I'm trying to touch it to my elbow. See? That's as close as I get to touching my knee to my elbow. I need to just switch, swivel my hips underneath and get my knee to his chest, knee to his uh, tummy, and post that hand that's being grabbed on the mat. And uh, 
I was I just haven't drilled it well, uh, under as much pressure as he was putting me in. Now he's swiveled his hips, locked in the triangle, and it's just so tight. Yet, and I was being strangled here, yet I was stubborn to accept defeat. Again, I tried to pivot to the other side just to get my knee in. But at this moment... I felt him readjust again, which was extremely frustrating. How can I get my knee from here to there when he readjusted and dropped his hips way to the other side? Now it's almost impossible, but it felt like I could get my head out. So I thought, hmm, I'm about to get my head out anyway. Maybe I'll just uh, dump him over. Then he straightens out my arm here. He straightens out my arm and gives me a really good arm bar. And I tapped. And I never touched the ground. I was arm barred. And um, yeah, the truth is, what an amazing, uh, you know, what an amazing offensive performance by him. I um, felt really good, came up prepared. I think that that, match, that that breakdown really sums it up. I didn't realize until now that he pulled butterfly guard. I thought he just pulled it like an open guard. Uh, uh, sorry, I thought he was trying to pull a closed guard. He pulled an open guard, I mean, a butterfly guard, and um, and then got to work. And I was trying to create space, pull open his lapel, and pull a single leg half guard, which I, which I was planning on doing for the entire tournament. Here, look how far past I, um, I almost was. Here, I grab his pants, and I'm dragging him across, and I do my big back step like I always do, but I couldn't get my knee to his belly like I wanted to, like I normally do, because he put his hand, as I was passing, he put his hand right on the back of my hip, on the back of my thigh, and then by blocking this leg also with his hand, he's framing to keep, make sure that I don't get past his hip, and now I'm like trying to push his knee with my knee to get past his hip, but that's when he slides his leg in for the omoplata. And then I do this hop over, which I think if I would have continued the hop over, of course, he did post his elbow in my butt right here, which prevented me. But I still probably could have backstepped it and then been inside control. I just never, that's not what I was trying to do. That's not what I do. And uh, it's easy to say that now, but I've never really done that. So now I know that that could work. But in this situation, I made. A mistake in believing that that step over was the right move. I have omoplata escapes. If I would have realized it was an omoplata, I would have used them. Here I didn't. I didn't commit to this triangle escape. Step. I needed to step really deep, and I didn't do that. And um, the rest is a tale of me struggling to escape this triangle armbar setup. And unfortunately, people witnessed my demise in 40 seconds. You know. Um, it happens to some. I, I have now become one of those, and uh, I'll bounce back. You know, it's important to for me to have the humility to break down my own match, because you know, every day. Look, here's the here's the here's the fucking truth of the thing. Every day we become a bigger version of ourselves. Every day we learn something about life. And if you are afraid to accept your past mistakes, you're living in the past. Like you're no longer that person. You know. Every day you get better, so you're an evolved person today. Of course, this match was just days ago, but I've already been in the gym. I've already worked on my mistakes, you know, and so it's easy for me to, for me now. It's still, it's actually still kind of hard to stomach watching myself lose and putting it out there and explaining my mistakes. But at the same time, by breaking it down, I'm understanding my mistakes. I'm understanding my opponent's um, advantages and, uh, now I can uh, learn from that, and uh, hopefully you can too. So, uh, if you have the humility, I recommend breaking down your own match. You know, figuring out what happened. And um, yeah, kudos to that guy. I still had a great time. I beat JJ Fez. That was really fun. Definitely gonna keep doing those. And uh, well, we'll just uh, look forward to breaking down my next match. See you soon. Peace.